Hi, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is Dion again from ICT4Educators.com. Um, in the previous lesson, we were looking at web albums and using it to upload your photos and videos to your Picasso account. Now, one of the things I said you could do from that is to create QR codes. So if you actually look at the upload button, sorry, the up arrow button, you do have three options as I said before. One is to email an album link to copy it or to open it in Safari. So we're going to look at copying an album link here and using that as a way to get a QR code. So I'm going to copy a link to the album that I've created Then I'm going to close this and we're going to go to open up an app which is called Crafter. So it's a Q R A F T E R. There's there's actually a couple of apps here. There's Crafter and Crafter Pro. Um, both of them to get the full version will cost you two ninety nine. There are a few different apps out there which allow you to create or scan uh, QR codes. This is the one that I've chosen. It, it seems to work quite well. So as you can see down at the bottom here, you have the ability to both scan and to create QR codes. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating a QR code and then you have a choice. You can do a URL um, and another one that's probably quite useful for students may be things like uh, the ability to add uh, a text for example. Okay, So looking at the URL option here, so we're going to open that up and when you do you can see there's actually the HTTP is already inside. I'm going to delete that because I've already copied all of the link to the Picasso album. So I'm just going to push down with my finger and hold. Okay, and then you let go and you will get the option to paste. So we just paste the link that we've created there. Okay, and once we're done you just click on the create button. Okay, so as you can see here, our QR code has been created for us. You can do things like edit the color, but we're, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so now once your QR code has been created, uh, you can push on the up arrow. And you have a few choices, such as save to your camera roll, uh, email it, um, and, and, and a few others. So what I would do with students here generally is we would email the QR code to the teacher who could then print it unless of course you have your iPad set up where students could print directly themselves. Uh, what I'm going to choose to do here is just to save it to my camera roll so you can just get an idea of what the QR code looks like. So when we go back now to the camera roll and open it up okay so you can see that we have our QR code here. So th with this QR code uh, you can then have it printed and uh, a project that our students are actually working on in grade 3 is uh, we're having students create all of their process work uh, throughout the unit and they will create QR codes which link to their Picasso web albums and then they will have an art exhibition for parents and parents will be able to come in and using the Crafter app um, that we've already taken a look at here uh, as you can see at the bottom there's an option to scan so if parents come and they use the scan option, okay, then they can just simply point the uh, camera at the QR codes that students have created and then take uh, themselves to the links where all the content is located. So that may be a great idea for a project that you'd want to consider as well. So again, the app that we use today is called Crafter and it allows you to either scan QR codes or to generate your own. Thank you.